What's up guys? Welcome back to Vlogs with Vanessa. Today I am going to show you how I'm treating my aphids. I just posted a video not that long ago about my garden update and an aphid infestation. I still have them. I have not gotten rid of them. From what I read, you really can't just get rid of them. I'm managing them and I would like to show you how I'm doing that. I actually have posted a video about Dr. Bronner's cast out soap and I'll link that in the video if you guys want to watch that. It is surprisingly done pretty well. And I've been using Dr. Bronner's soap to clean around the house. I use it to wash dishes occasionally. We have really hard water so it kind of doesn't really mix well with hard water. But it's really my only organic option right now to try and control the aphid problem. So. This is the solution I've been using. It is warm water. I just filled this up with warm water. And then you're going to take the Dr. Bronner's and pour five, six drops in, shake it up. And then we are going to just apply it to the leaves and any aphids you see directly. The soap is supposed to kill its body because it's like a soft body. And so basically the water in the soap suffocates it. So I'm going to show you some more aphids and how I've been managing them. You can see these little tiny things and those are aphids. And they mostly attack new growth. Um, this is obviously old growth. They can be on any part of the plant, but they mostly are on new growth. So what you do is you take your solution and we're just going to spray it. Spray the leaves. Ideally, you want to get the whole plant, all the leaves, all the parts where the aphids are, but I'm not going to be out here spraying every single leaf. I come out, I spray what I can, what I see, and then we go from there. Spray the under part. Of the leaves. Alright, and so using this cast aisle soap, it's organic to use in your garden. Like I said, it has not killed the aphids, but it has managed how many there are. I haven't really been doing my job that well, coming out once a day to spray and um, rinse off and all that stuff. I mean, ideally, if I have an issue, I should be doing it once or twice a day until it's under control, but I've been slacking and I've only been coming out once every couple days and doing it, you know, and that's really my issue. But it has been working, it has been helping, and you know, this soap you can use for a ton of different things. Like I said in my previous video, I've used it on for just washing your hands. I've used it for dishes. You can use it to clean the bathroom, which I have used. You can use it to clean floors. You can use it for laundry. I mean, there are so, you can use it on your dog. There's so many different ways to use this soap. And this peppermint is really good in the garden because bugs don't usually like, um, you know, minty type smells you know you can plant mint and stuff and onions by certain plants companion planting and i just don't have enough room so i've been spraying this on all my plants and over there i haven't had any aphids at all so far only in this box and it's pretty contained right now but i'm gonna show you a little bit more of my garden um, an update since my last video i've got some fruit setting and um, it's pretty exciting, so I'm going to show you that real quick. I've got some baby green peppers. Look at them. They're looking so cute. Got quite a few of those. This plant has just exploded. And as you can see back here, oh, right down there and right there is a zucchini. I'm super excited. I've never grown zucchini before. I've got another tomato plant. And if you look down here, you can see a whole bunch of them. My carrots have literally exploded. Um, like I said in my previous video, they are really close together, so I'm not sure how big or nice they're going to be, but this is my first time growing them, and I'm just pleased to see that I got them to sprout. 
All right, so that is gonna wrap up this video of me showing you how I am managing my garden with Dr. Bronner's cast style soap. Like I've said before, I love this soap. You can use it for so many different things and the fact that I can use it in the garden also is a big plus. Um, I don't want chemicals, unnecessary chemicals in my garden and you know, this is just a cleaner. It's cleaning the plants, it's killing the bugs, and it's hopefully deadering them away because they don't like the smell of the peppermint. If you would like to check out my other video on Dr. Bronner's soap, I'm going to tag that so y'all can go see it. And I've got some interesting stuff coming up on my channel soon that doesn't have to do with gardening or my Jeeps, but it's really big. So if you guys wanna see any of that, subscribe, you know, the bell will let you know when I post a new video and you can come see it. And until then, I um, hope you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.